I wish that the government didn't have to step in and mandate something, but we gotta get the masks going for kids before we go back to school, or it's gonna lead to bad outcomes for kids. Well, tonight the debate continues over whether children should be required to wear masks in the classroom this upcoming school year. Students in Birmingham City Schools head back tomorrow, if you can believe it. CBS 42's Jen Cardone talked to parents and an internal medicine doctor in our area and has more on how to keep your family safe for the start of school. Masks are recommended by the Jefferson County Department of Health and the CDC, but they're not required to go to school. This guidance can be confusing, and that's why local doctors and parents want to help you make the best choice for your family as you kick off this new school year. As parents start leafing through last minute back to school clothing ideas, wearing a mask in the classroom is still up for debate. We're going to have to pay a lot in gas this year. So. Stephen Ingram is getting ready to send his kids back to Homewood City Schools for the first time, but worries his youngest daughter can't get a vaccine, doesn't have a virtual option, and does not have a mask requirement. And that's, I think, the most frustrating thing right now is we want to see our school boards, we want to see our state and local officials putting that knowledge into action um, instead of acting like everything is back to normal. But not all parents want an official mandate from the local or state levels. Masks aren't perfect. Masks alone aren't going to keep any of us from getting COVID. And honestly, masks alone aren't going to make COVID go away. But they are an easy, safe kind of level of protection. Dr. Matthew Delaney works at the UAB Highlands ER and is hopeful parents will voluntarily have their kids mask up if they're unvaccinated. A mandate would be the last resort. I'm not a fan of mandates in general, but if that's the only way we're going to get back to school safely, we're going to have to do something. We just can't go with this approach of everybody individually pick what works for them because that we know that masks don't work unless they're used widely. Regardless of your masking choice, internal medicine doctor Amy Ajeskis says you should ask for support from your teachers and other parents of kids in the classroom. I think people have taken this to the extreme that if you wear a mask or don't wear a mask, you're making a statement. You're you're siding with one side or the other. And that, that's not what this needs to be about. If you feel like it's the right thing to do for your child, even if it's not required, then absolutely you should do it. Dr. Ajeska says we can expect to see a spike in COVID closer to September once everyone is back in the classroom. And that would also mean an increase in hospitalizations and deaths. But she's hopeful it'll be a lot less this time with more people vaccinated. She will continue to monitor this with other doctors here in our area. Reporting in Birmingham, Jen Cardone, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.